All right, guys, what's going on? My name is Alex. I hope this video finds you well. Today we are editing your car photos. So I reached out to you guys over Instagram and YouTube and asked you guys to send me photos and holy smackers, did you send me photos? I had like over 200 and something submissions and some of you guys sent multiple photos. Took me forever to go through and download all these photos, but I'm just blown away by your guys' support and all of the kind words you guys said in your emails and have been reaching out through Instagram and stuff. It's just been so amazing. So the way that I'm gonna do this is I've slimmed down like the over 250 some odd photos down to about 20 or 25 that I'm gonna show you quickly how I edited them. I'm not gonna go through the entire edit because that would take us all day, but I'm gonna go through the edits and show you why I made those choices, as well as I was able to build a few awesome presets based off the photos that you guys sent here. So I'll show you some of those as well. If I didn't get around to editing your photos, guys, I am so sorry, but it does truly mean so much that you've participated. Before we get into editing these, I do wanna just say, I don't profess to be the greatest editor in the world. I am just doing my thing and I'm gonna edit these with a little bit of my style as well. But I appreciate you guys giving me your creative work and allowing me to put my little spin on it. All right, so we are gonna start off with this epic roller from Cassian. Uh, I'll link his Instagram here. He also just built a YouTube channel that you need to go check out. He also does a ton of tips and stuff uh, and is a super nice guy. So make sure you hit him up on Instagram. For this photo, the before photo here is really nice. It's a beautiful bridge in Edmonton, but I wanted to kind of get like this dark night theme. So I wanted to give you a bit of blue tones and bring down the highlights here. You can see the bridge was a little bit blown out. So bring those back, we up the shadows so we can see the details in here, bring down a ton of the saturation, and then you can see what I'm doing in the tone curve here to make it a bit brighter. And then if you hit Shift M, you can see what I do with my radial filters here, just pulling it over the car and helping that to pop out. You can see what this is doing just by doing that, helps it to pop a bit. And then if I just hit M on my keyboard, brings up graduated filters. So I'm helping to bring this up a little bit, add a bit of light flare in here and then taking a little bit of exposure down from the road. And I think it's a pretty sick little preset. I just love like, like that dark moody vibe. This photo here, which was submitted by T Colin 89. So go check all these guys out on Instagram. He submitted this photo here. It was really kind of dark and moody before and I wanted to kind of warm it up and give it a really intense sunset vibe. So you can see here that I had to obviously up the exposure quite a bit. I dragged up the color temps a ton brought down the highlights, up the shadows so we could actually get some details in the car, dehaze a bit to bring out some of the love and the clouds there. And then we didn't take out too much saturation because we wanted to keep the sky looking pretty. Changed some of the colors here in the HSL and then did a bunch of weird stuff with the saturation. But here it looks like I did a bunch of cool stuff with the lighting, um, adding a bit of this like aqua cayenne to the sky and then the shadows warming up the shadows a whole bunch to make it look like the sky is kind of reflecting down and as you guys know i love my reflection photography so this is another cool one so i added the radial filter over the car and over the reflection to help that pop as well as these graduated filters one from the bottom one from the top and they're all doing their own fun thing so that's the before and after T. Cullen, thanks for submitting this photo. It looks really cool. I wanted to kind of show you the edit of this photo because I think it's a really unique and I love the aspect of it. So one I want to try on this one is actually called The Dark Knight. We're going to try and slap this on, toss the filters on there, and then from here, we're just going to go and adjust our exposure and see which colors we want to bring back out. So there's obviously heaps of blue in here, so I might dial that back a bit let's see if we can make that Mustang pop out a little bit more. So we're gonna bring the saturation back there. Maybe even the luminance. Let's see if we can help it pop a bit. And for this, I might even just grab a brush and let's see if we can like brush some of this Mustang back out and make it pull. Looks like there's a dude in there. So that's nice and easy. It's a beautifully shot photo. I mean, it's super linear, which I freaking love linear shots like that. You got a cool plane in the background. Uh, and then the color tones, you could just go anywhere with this photo. It's so fun. Uh, well done, Lens Fuel. Thank you so much for submitting this photo also. So this next photo was like a standout photo for me. It was submitted by About Cars Yo. Uh, just like a really cool photo, like the McLaren Senna just peeking out the garage, the wings up and everything. I just loved it. So I really wanted to go with like a bit of a moody vibe on it. You can see it's like a really nicely shot photo already, really well exposed. 
Um, the biggest thing that I did for this one, I think, was the tone curves, because I just wanted to kind of flatten it out and soften it up a bit, and go a bit with like the Dark Knight vibe-ish, but not all the way. So this was like my base adjustments. And then the tone curves really just helped to kind of flatten out the highlights that were up here in the cement and just kind of brought everything together. And then here I put a radio filter over the car, which I could probably actually adjust a little bit. But there's the before and after of the McLaren Senna. I just love this vibe. We don't really have a ton of these super cool garages like you guys have in Europe where you guys have Formula One, which just started, woo! So this photo here, I actually really wanted to try and capture the coastal vibe of it. So what I needed to do was I needed to make sure to retain my highlights my shadows I didn't do too much with and then bring down my whites as well. But one thing that I wanted to go with with the Coastal Vibe was that it still was saving the highlights but was still super bright. So the way that I got that back was going down into my tone curve and making sure that it was still a really bright photo. But we can see here we still have all the detail in the waves and up in the sky, which was really cool and then added like a very small amount of fade down here. And then I was like, maybe we can try and go for that like Sam Colder vibe. So I started pushing around some of the tones to make the sand look a bit more like orange or peachy or whatever. The aquas turned them up to blue and then the blues I turned down to aqua down here. Now you can see what I did with the saturation and the luminance, um, split toning, etc. The big one that I did that I think made a big difference for this was taking the blue primary and switching it way down. And that kind of gave me that aqua, I don't know, Sam Colder vibe. So try playing with the color calibration. It's really interesting the kind of tones you can get out of it. Sometimes it messes up your photo like crazy, but sometimes it helps bring that vibe in that you're trying to get. So this was a really cool photo submitted by J N, yeah, J Nuvian. I don't know. This is just his Instagram handle. So thanks so much, guys, for sending this in. This photo was submitted by Michael Gonzalez. Thanks for sending this in. It's a bit of an oldie, classic truck. Um, again, really well captured, really cool truck. Um, I love like the exhaust pipes coming out of this thing. This just looks mad, just mad. It's like shot in bright daylight. So I just made sure to bring out some of the details in the wheels here, clean up the top and the bottom, did a small like uh, graduated filter coming up to the truck. Um, tried to make the greens pop a little bit. You can see here in the luminance panel, made sure to keep the saturation in it, but it looked like even in the original photo, that it's a bit more of like a soft matte green. So I didn't want to make it pop out too much. And then you'll see here with a graduated filter that I added this like kind of lens flare into the side. The reason that I do that is it just adds a bit of dynamic to the shot. But yeah, not much to do with this shot because it's super clean. And I haven't really edited this type of car very much, so I thought it'd be fun to take a stab at it. All right, so this one I edited because I love the GTI car. I think it's such a cool car. Um, but to start out with, this was extremely blown out. So you can see like the back here, it was just so far gone. So all the edits that I did were to try and redeem the blown out highlights. So you can see I brought it down by 1.5. We saved all the highlights there. We could even go farther with the whites, but I wasn't seeing that it was doing much. We bring up the shadows to bring out the details and the grill and the wheels, etc. And then we hold option and move our blacks around until we found what we wanted. But later on, I went and added this kind of fade here to help soften up the shadows and just give us that nice smooth sunset vibe. Bringing this down to get the contrast back in. And then once you kind of have that S curve, you can really fiddle with these mid-tones here to help that car really pop off or stand out, or you can soften it by dragging that down. So this one's by JWM Automotive. Thanks for submitting this beautiful GTI. I do want to own a GTI at some point, or maybe the Golf R. I don't know, we'll see. I've got like a growing list of cars I want. Some of them are very unattainable. Okay, so this photo is submitted by a very amazing person. Uh, you can see it's submitted by Davey Gravy. I worked with Davey Gravy for a long time doing photo and video, and he inspires me so much. You guys definitely need to go check out his Instagram page. And I'm gonna do a bit of an edit inspired by the way that he edits his photos. First off, we're gonna bring up our shadows so we can actually see the truck. I'm gonna go quickly through this edit here, create that kind of cool fade, bring that fade up for the sunset. And then I'll fiddle with some of the yellows and oranges to kind of get the color that I want out of this. Make sure that those reds are popping on the taillights. 
And then our highlights, we're gonna bring out that 35 in the split toning, get some color contrast. We're gonna bring up the blues in here, bring that up. We're gonna add that sharpening mask. And then from here, we're just gonna add this radial mask that ups the exposure on our truck itself. We're gonna make sure there's no wonky stuff going on there. Pull that up, maybe even desaturate it. Oh uh, yeah, I'm getting some weird blues in there. So maybe let's go see if we can pull out some of the blues. I wanna make sure that we're not getting too much weird coloration in the car. And then if we wanna get more blue, we can just come down to our split toning and bring that in down here. So there you go, guys. It is a super quick, super clean edit of Davy Gravy's photo. And we'll try some of these like warm fade presets on some of these other photos down the line. Here's another standout photo. That reflection is clean, man. Dev cars, look at that. Shoot. All right, so for this one, I think I'm just gonna try this new preset called Sundown. Let's see how that works. That looks pretty good. I don't tend to love a ton of green, so Ooh. I'm actually gonna try and pull out as much of that as I can and just clean up the photo. Dev Cars nailed it with this Ford Focus ST. So that's it, the before and after. I'm just cleaning it up, turning the tones into some of the tones that I like personally, which is more of those like bluey ready ones. And there you go. So this one here, I just did another really clean edit, but after I did that coastal preset, I also wanted to try it out on here. So this is kind of what that coastal preset would look like for this AMG. Mercedes, thanks so much SV Car Photography for sending it in. Looks so dope, so BA. Just make sure that our filters are all doing the right thing. Because it's so dark, we can even pump up our shadows and our filter there. And again, make sure our contrast is coming up so that we're not uh, making it look like it's too feathered. So this photo was submitted by Flat Boxer. I think I ended up starting with one of my winter preset because they just have the bit more contrast. So even if I click that on, let's turn dial it up a little bit and that's already looking really, really cool. So this is the original image. This is with winter two preset and this one's just making it a little bit darker up there. And this one again, just adding a little bit of light in there, adding a bit of dynamics. Okay, so this photo I did select for a reason. One thing I want to tell you guys about this photo and a rule of thumb when you're shooting is with this kind of front wheel. When you're shooting your photos and you're live, the best way to do it in the way that I I've chosen to do it is always have those wheels turn towards your camera lens. So in this particular photo, which I think is dope by the way, thanks for sending it in, Gray Shark F30. Great shot, really cool. But I would just turn that wheel towards the shooter. Again, another really cool looking FRS. This is the original image here. So obviously I just wanna bring down all my exposure, make sure that the car looked as good as possible in the frame there. And this is the power of shooting in raw you guys because you can shoot overexposed and still bring back so much of the detail there's a few of you guys that sent jpegs and unfortunately they didn't make it into this video because the way that i edit i need to have all that detail retained and your file size is going to be a ton bigger but it is so worth it. And as you kind of shoot and get into client shooting, you can start using that money to maybe buy some more hard drives and stuff that you can actually keep this available because it makes it look so much better. Sent in by Vinny one k Thank you, you're also inspiring me towards my FRS journey. All right, so this photo was submitted by another awesome local photographer with a great YouTube channel. You can go check him out, Donovan Wagner. I'll link his video up here as well. This is an, a stunning photo of a Lamborghini and I did not do too much. Um, when I developed my Type R preset, it was developed on a rooftop in a situation very similar to this. So I did use my Type R preset. I warmed up the sky. Because it's a yellow car, we took a lot of the luminance and boosted that up so that it stood out a bunch. And then I wanted to use a bit of like color contrast. So what I mean by that is we have a yellow car and blue is like the opposite of yellow. So what I wanted to do is make sure that I added a ton of blue in the shadows or the road and maybe even a bit in the sky up here. So there's not a lot of other colorations going around. I mean, this is the original photo. Looks great, really well captured. And this is the final edit. So you can see here in my shadows, I'm adding a ton of blues down here. And now even though I'm balancing it towards the warmth, because it's a really warm photo, I still wanted to add that blue into the shadow to make sure I was getting as much color contrast as possible. So there you go guys, that is my before and after of this beautiful Lamborghini Huracan. 
Performante. This is like the pinnacle of my dream car, I think. Like ever since I shot that supercar hangar with the Lamborghini Huracan, I like really fell in love with it. Uh, the way they sound, their presence, the, like the stance, oh. So one of these days, one of these days, mark my words at 8K subs, one of these days. We're gonna be driving these. We're gonna be we're gonna be owning these. Moving on really quick, Whiskey 21 sent in this beautiful Alpine Alpine. I don't really know how to say it. So first off, this is his original photo. It's freaking gorgeous, well captured. I really just tried not to screw up this shot because it looks so good. With this one, honestly, I just highly recommend going over to Whiskey 21's page. He does some incredible car photography, really, really talented. So go check him out, go check out his edits. This is mine, I think it's okay. I think he does a better job at these ones. So thanks for submitting that one, Whiskey 21. Sent in by B Archic. Arctic, I don't know how to say that, but you can see we've got some crazy light trails behind this one. Now I'm gonna show you the original because it is wild. Boosh, holy smackers, that is a warm, warm image. So I was just literally just trying to clean this one up, make it as normal as I could while trying to get those light trails to pop. So this photo here is submitted by SWE Auto. I'm pretty sure he sent in a whole bunch of photos for me last round too and I just love this photo. Love this car. I would absolutely love to own one of these someday. These new Porsche 992s. Turbo S's are insane. If you guys haven't watched any reviews on them, you've got to. I think that I'm going to add the warm fade photo on this one because I think it's just going to look real nice. So just add that on there. Bring down the exposure to where we need it. Toss on my filters and let's bring down the exposure on the sky a little bit. And already it's looking so good. Hit R on the keyboard. I'm gonna make sure this is nicely centered. And I think what I'll do is I'll dodge and burn. Bringing out a few of the details here in this beautiful car. And there we go, really quick before and after. Just a nice subtle fade to the shadows, but I mean, honestly, man, this is a great photo. You are really killing it. Go check this guy out on Instagram. I'll put it on here. Some of the photos he's putting out with this Porsche is insane. He's even doing some like the vector editing. So go check him out. All right, so here's a really fun edit of a vehicle that I have never seen before. And again, because it's so kind of vast and cool, I just wanted to keep it as clean as possible, bring out as much of the details in here as I could. And uh, I don't know, I just tried to clean it up. It's already so beautiful and the colors are so vibrant. And there you have it. And actually now that I'm seeing this, maybe we could try and create another one. I'm curious what the coastal would look like. Bring up the exposure to where we want it. We dial back some of the blues. Dial back some of the oranges on the road there, the reds. You gotta add profile correction, it makes a huge difference. And then let's see if we add those filters. Before, after, so that's a nice cool coastal tones. I'm actually pretty happy with how that turned out. Super artsy or whatever. This was a really cool edit, I love this location. Uh, this one was sent in by Swiftly Media. Again, one of my favorite cars, the Volkswagen GTI. And this is the before and after. So really all I was trying to do is take out some of these gross yellow tones. And I really wanted to make these lights pop that were up here. So I actually took a brush at exposure here to try and make them pop. And I actually lowered the dehaze to try and make them kind of look like they were glowing a bit. And as you can see, popping my whites, popping my highlights, just trying to make them really pop off a little bit. Really amazing location of a really cool car. And there you go, there's my before and after. So as you can see guys, there are so many amazing photos that you guys submitted. But again, I'm so grateful that you guys sent them in. Uh, that's a ton of editing and I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of the process of me going through. Really what I do is I just find cool tones, I copy those into presets and then I start laying them over something that might be similar. This was really fun because I had the opportunity to fiddle around with some photos in environments that I personally haven't shot before. So it's enabled me to create really cool presets that you guys can use. And I'll put a link here for you guys that you can go buy these presets for a crazy sale because I'm just so grateful that you sent them in and we were able to make this happen together. I will stick around and just start slapping some presets on these photos here and you guys can watch. Hopefully I'll edit one of yours. 
Otherwise, guys, thanks so much for watching this. I am doing a really cool shoot this weekend uh, with a cool car that I've never driven before, but I'm very excited. So make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit like on this if I edited one of your photos or if you want me to do this type of video again. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.